camera in a different direction. And I think that today what we're going to do is focus on found objects. And, and as always, I welcome you to, uh, you know, chat with me. So uh, I'm just realizing, you know, that my studio here is filled with lots of musical instruments. Um, and, um, but it's all, and, and, and musical instruments, it's like people, like you can't really define them, you know? Like what's a musical instrument? Um, I think a musical instrument is something that you can use to make music with. And what is music? So I think music is uh, sounds that we make using musical instruments, which includes our voices, you know. So um, uh, I'm going to start here with this uh, lampshade that, uh, you, as you can see, I've been using this for many years. I think I, you know, when we first moved to Prescott, I used this. I found this in the junkyard that we bought. Anyway, um, so what I want you to do is to find stuff around the house and um, join me, you know? So I'm gonna put down a little groove here, okay? And like, one, two, one, two, three, four. So it's so important, you know, um, when we're playing music together. And I'm playing music with you right now. Um, so I have so many different instruments here that uh, I want to show you. Um, so what I want you to do is to kind of like find ways to groove with me. Uh, Man, you know what I should be doing is using my looper, you know, and getting back into the, because then we could create some some loops and just keep going. But I don't think I'm going to start that. You know, maybe we'll do that next week. Right now, we're just going to explore these different instruments, okay? And that you, and so maybe it might inspire you to find some around the house. Now the, the tempo of this is going to be determined about the, how the ping pong bounces on this piece of wood that I actually, believe it or not, I bought at a, at a yard sale as a musical instrument. It's just, a, a, just four pieces of wood glued together, but look. drop this ping pong ball, depending on how high I drop it from, I have to get this ping pong ball before I lose it.
Okay, it looks like uh, it looks like it is streaming. We've had some technical issues. Of course, who hasn't? You know, that is what music is. Okay, good. So it looks like we have Sherry. Sherry is here, so we know that we're cooking. Okay, so um, we got the ping pong ball. Oh, I got to turn this off. Okay, so this is a um, container. I knew there was the word in there. So a container, and let's see what's inside. I don't, I don't remember. What do you think's inside? I, I thought maybe it was like beads or something, plastic beads. Let's look. Oh man, it's thumbtacks. I was wondering where all the thumbtacks were. Oh man, be careful. You never know what's in one of these things. Okay, uh, let me put this aside. You know what I could do is I could bounce the ping pong ball. I can't do that. I can't. Okay, so um, we got the lampshade piece of wood. This is a, um, I just found this somewhere. I don't remember where I found it. Um, and this monkey can play it. This monkey, what it likes to do is bang their head on the bell. I trust me. Uh, we we already talked about this. The monkey is totally cool with this. It just it just likes to do this. Okay. Um, and then. Here's another bell. Um, I mean, somebody, somebody, I think, you know, this is from like a tank. Somebody cut, cut it off of a tank. You know, we could hit it with something harder. Okay, so Sherry says, a nurse told me not to find balance, but to find a rhythm. I like that, you know, like, but maybe balance, because we're going to be off balance. I know I'm off balance. Um, but if you got your groove going, then it doesn't matter if you're off balance. I got my groove going. Uh, Okay, so this is my attempt to make a rain stick. I made a much longer one, but it was so heavy that, you know, you couldn't play it really. But so this is because this is a bunch of nails. This is a mailing tube with a bunch of nails and then string woven through it and then filled with shell, little like ground up. Or, or, you know, I got the shells in Puerto Rico, and I probably shouldn't have, I kind of stole them off the beach. You know, a lot of this is what we're doing is, um, and then I took them on a plane. So. So what we're doing is a lot of um, I don't know what the word is when you admit that you were, have been wrong. You know, this is some kind of tube um, from some kind of like garbage bag or something.
forget it. Um, oh yeah. Man, I, I, I think back to the different movies that I've made, I've made. Oh my God. Back in the days when you had to go into a, a movie studio. And um, it's weird, these flashbacks that I get. And some of them were really embarrassing where I, you know, I tried stuff and I was doing just weird things that I wouldn't do today, live, you know, on camera. So, um, and that's the thing is I might look at this in the future and say the same thing. This is from my um, garden. It's a gourd, you know, it just grew like this. And, um, and that's it, you know, the seeds were already in it. Uh, I think I found this walking down the street in Brooklyn. You know, they're like, they're, they have trees in Brooklyn. I don't know if you knew this, because a, a tree grew there. But it, was, it wasn't just one tree. It was like, a, there's a lot of trees in Brooklyn. And some of them have things like this growing on them. And uh, if you walk, anyway, I'm not going to go there. Uh, let's see. Um, I found this globe in the garbage. You know, I took, a, took all the other stuff off of it. It's, you know, because I wanted to shake the world. Now, this is really hard because it's so big. Um, it, what I really should do is make a shakere out of it. Um, and I'll, I'll show you what I, it could become if I were to do that. Like some of them are, are just too loud though, you know. And I'm not a good I, I shouldn't even be playing this. I, I don't know how to do it. And I feel like a lot of people when they say tell me they don't know how to play like a violin and I tell them just pretend that you do know how. It's sometimes hard to uh do things that you don't think you know how to do. But that's the world we're, uh, we're living in right now, where like, we don't know how to do anything. None of us know what we're doing. But we're doing it anyway, because we, we share this planet. Hello, testing. I wanted to see how this was sounding. Testing. I maybe, you know, I should wear these headphones so I know, like, you know, kind of what the balance is doing. Uh, let me mute this. Okay. Oh, boy. Okay, what else we got here? Um, we have this, which, um, you know, you could hit with... with uh, a mallet and then if you put it over your head you know you might recognize this you know you might have seen things like this around um, this is what is known as a space helmet it's part of a space it was NASA 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 um, I was, you know, fuddling around at, the, at NASA, NASA, and I went into their garbage and I found this old 
space helmet. It's not, it's missing, you know, the base part. But um, I discovered that like if you, you know, and this is what I think they did out in space, you know, they'd, they'd, they'd hit each other's helmets with these mallets and then put them into a zone. So like, you know, you can do that if you find one of these things. You can also use like, uh, uh, it's a, on top of some garbage pails that have stuff like this. Um, and you go like this, you hit it, and then you put it over your head. And it's really amazing. It takes you on a, it's like going into outer space. So, um, okay, what else were we going to, oh, the, the clothing, right. Um, there's this thing too. Okay. Um, I had these, I, I had these like tied together um, so that you could play them together. And I'm going to try to do that right now. Every time I have a little groove, I can't stop singing along. I can't help but sing my voice because it has to be along with the all world, yes we are in the whole world, we're part of the whole world, yes we are. Okay, you got that? And then what I, well that was a cool sound. Um, and um, so, I had, I had a pair of claves um, here, and uh, I don't know if you know this, but clave means key in Spanish. Um, oh yeah, here's, here, like, I can't find my claves. I think this is like sort of one of them. It looks like it's made from a broom handle. And so it turns out that really a clave is really nothing but a, gr a broom handle cut down or a toilet plunger um, unscrewed. And somewhere I, I have the rubber part that goes in the toilet, but I don't know where it is. And uh, maybe it's in the bathroom. Okay. So, um, you know, clave, as you know, means key. And as you also know, music is the key to community. How do you aim cameras? I Okay, it's backwards. I don't know why. <laughs> it wasn't backwards before. <laughs> okay. Um, anyway. Um, so clave, uh, you know, in, uh, you know, Afro-Cuban music, there are, um, you know, lots of different rhythms, as you know, but there's basically two claves that, that, that were from, from whence these, these rhythms come from, you know, that, that are the keys to the rhythm, you know, 
So here's one of the key, the claves. This is a key. El puma umamaya, la tapuma makanaya. Put the puma la toy and I had a doll the pumna. Was I doing a wait? Okay, yeah, that's a three two clave because it's one, two, three, one, two. And it's some people call it a bow diddly beat. But if you're playing a ukulele, for instance, and you're, you could play a bow diddly beat. Um, on your ukulele, you know? So like... I know cat game way out, Willie. Got a cool little chick. And I forgot her name. Um, she can walk and stroll and Susie Q Doing the crazy hand job too Hand job Hand job Hand job Doing that crazy hand job Okay, so there's a little connection, you know, with these different styles of music and uh, I'll leave this out just in case um, okay and Alana's here and Roberta okay so um Okay, so we talked about the clave. Oh yeah, because that was the three two clave. And then the two three clave is the same as the three two clave. Except that you you start from a different place. So let's say you're playing the three two clave. Three two, one, two, three, a one, two. But then you decide to play a two clave, two three clave, then you might go like this. And now here's the beginning. I know a cat named Way Out Willie. <laughs> it's hard um, to sing that song because it, I uh, identify with the two three. So let's say, uh, let's say, let's let's say that we're gonna play a two three clave. Then we just start with the two. And there's a space in the beginning which is really. What makes it, you know, interesting, I think. And um, okay, so here is the here's the space, <clears throat> and you can fill in the space. Uh. Ho! You can fill it with your body. Um, okay, then it's harder for me to talk while I'm playing that rhythm for some reason. Here we go. Sorry. Okay, so that's the uh, the clave, and these bells, like if you, this is like you know in, um, you know like popular pop music, they often have like uh, what is called a pad. You know, it's like a a sound that just keeps going, and I kind of look at these as sort of like a pad. I got these, these are goat bells actually. I brought them back from Kenya. But I, I'm, without the context, I, I feel like I'm not really doing them justice. Okay, now, um, let's see. Oh, here's the, the 
Oh yeah, and now here's the uh, Los Claves. See, this is another form of clave. This uh, mu muchos claves. And you, these are also like you could you could combine these with the the goat bells. Okay, so let's see. Did I cover everything? that I had out here. Someone gave me this. It's, you know, this is somebody made this. But it's so beautiful. Like, if you could really just, like, kind of look at that. Um, and I'm just going to take a quick look and see if there's any pieces of junk back here that we... Oh, I forgot about the... Uh, so when I was uh, creating my uh, system for... Um, my piano, you know, to take it so that I could take it all over the country. Um, I'm gonna just see if I can show you the the piano. How do you do this? Uh, you know, it's because it's backwards. Like it, it it's like. Okay, but you see the piano over there and those, um, the metal undercarriage, you know, where the, the wheels are attached to. Um, and, I, and I kept, I have like a dozen of these pieces of metal because I kept measuring it wrong, you know, and I had, take it to the metal shop, you know, and they were bending them for me and cutting them. So I have all these extra things on around. And so like, like if you play one of these things, you know, I was, I want to put them together because I got like a, enough to make a scale. It would be, you know, it wouldn't be a scale that you might have ever heard before. So what is that note? Ding, ding, ding. Because it's playing harmonics, you know? So it's got lots of notes in there. And different people are going to hear different notes, you know, that are strong. I hear ding. It's kind of like going between these two notes. But then it settles on this note. Or uh, maybe it's just that it's halfway between. Anyway, so that's one note, and then this is another note. It might be the same note. Isn't that interesting? That it's uh, a different size. It's a, it looks like about, it's kind of the same size, but it's a very different note. In fact, I think it is exact. Well, it's not exactly. Okay, I think I've um, used it up today. I'm going to just play, oh, this one. This is probably the biggest mistake I made on the piano. But it's beautiful. See these mistakes. This is an example of using mistakes for good of humanity. So I, one day I'm going to make this musical instrument. I've got, you wouldn't believe the pile of junk and, and musical, you know, broken instruments that I have in the other room um, waiting to be made into more musical instruments. Okay. All right, I guess that's it for today. Thank you, everybody. And just keep playing, man, you know? Uh, I'm going to uh, point this while I turn this off.